we have not one but two unboxings today this one's a little overdue they still put random house penguin random house on the box now this is heavy because speaking of the open house i have been curious about this one for a while let's get it up here boom my mom's scissors This tickles me because I can't believe it's been a year since John Eves asked me to host an impromptu Zoom chat in the final days of the pandemic shutdowns. We had a virtual to mark, actually, the 25th anniversary of Star Trek First Contact. This is an excellent coffee table book. So Joe Fordham, UK author and uh, a researcher, Put this together with the uh, the help. This is a oh, this is a Titan book from my folks. You know there is a Titan magazine gang, a Star Trek magazine. Anyway, um, this is going to be my copy. Uh, it's a behind the scenes, and of course, I famously had a uh, I famously had a chapter, the black edition, the final edition of the companion. I did a billion interviews, probably a fraction of which has seen the light of day view some of them since then but i've been curious to see we will de-wrap this curious to see what joe and his editors have come up with uh, <laughs> there you go perfect for autographing um see a good coffee table a good coffee table style lots of photos uh lots of especially john eve's drawings because there are a billion of them this is the kind of thing that used to be the heart of my slideshows in the 90s because heaven forbid there be now titan published a book about the making of star of first contact that i co-wrote about a third of it our our interviews ian spelling did all the actor interviews i did most of the behind the scenes we put in a ton and at the time every american that ever saw it was pissed because they were mad that there was no first contact book in the day in 96 and 97 tons tons of uh, close-up prop and set and costume diagrams but this is large format a lot of rare photos that didn't get out the kind of thing that we'd use in con shows but never got there you go is this the one that has the height there was one point where i saw a drawing john had put a height to the entire titan missile the evolution what can I say? This has been out for a while. I was a little slow. I didn't get the advance word on this, but um, they were very generous in sending uh, sending a review copy we'll be using. Want to make sure and get that out today. But what that also means is that, noisy enough for you, if you are at, <laughs> fight the box, fight the box. If you're at the open house gang, this is one of our giveaways. We're going to be giving away one of these. All right. I have been sitting on several goodies for open house, which usually is a little earlier in the year in the fall, but we're going to be giving away a copy of Star Trek first contact. And yeah, I'll pay for the postage. Um, but that looks like an awesome book. And for a lot of you that never got a chance to get the little soft bound Titan, and this is a completely different book as i was saying it had three authors um it was crammed with photos which is what people wanted to see the cosplay and the prop and the cg modelers everybody wanted that's what they wanted for years i was the only person that um alex yeager who designed the first four cgi star trek ships for first contact i went up had him point out details on charts i was i had all this stuff i would share it at cons but it wasn't out in the ether but I, I was I was guaranteeing that the information had been saved. <laughs> Alex was pretty young then, but it was so awesome uh, that and all the suggested names and the class ships and all that. That's funny that, well, I'll save that story for another day.